Hi, my name is Ethan Cheadle, and I'm going to talk about a few of the readings um, from Chapter 7 and what I learned about them. And the first two readings uh, focused on comic books and video games and how they affect children. Um, and the first one that I read by Gerard Jones, um, he says that kids need violent entertainment uh, in order to express themselves properly. Um, although there are good and bad sides to violent entertainment, he argues that for every one person that violent entertainment hurts, it helps a hundred. Um, he doesn't by any means think that um, it should always be encouraged because there are some um, people who will take violent video games, for example, and um, use that in their real lives and inflict violence on others. Um, and this is never okay. Uh, and it does happen from time to time. But in, a more common in, in more situations, it helps people. Uh, for example, most superheroes that uh, are associated with violence um, and fighting for good, um, and even if it is not for good, uh, in the fantasy um, video games, they the superheroes typically have a dual identity where they're fighting for a specific purpose. Um, for example, the Hulk uh, comes off as a very macho, angry man and... Um, is angry at society for not accepting him and prosecuting him for looking different. Um, and so he has to learn how to control that within. And so little kids can take that um, and learn how to separate their public self from their inner self. Um, in the next one, uh, Michael Chabon uh, talks about comic books and how uh, many adults claim that fantasy um, deludes uh the mind and separates you from reality when in reality fantasy actually helps you develop a broader perspective on things going on around you and it can give you different lessons because not all lessons have to be exactly real life they can be in comic books and things like that where situations that would never happen to us um we can still learn from them um and so an uh, something that those two readings are really similar on is how uh, entertainment that is not necessarily active and um, physically good for you, as in a sport would be, or reading, um, just like a regular novel. Um, these types of entertainment that are typically controversial can actually be pretty good for you. In my personal experience, video games and violent movies or comics or anything like that... Um, haven't been uh, not allowed in my childhood, but I grew up with two sisters who have always been interested in, in more uh, s uh, soft and more sensitive things. And so I was never really exposed to violent video games um, besides when I was with my friends, which I really enjoyed, but I never had anything for myself. Um, but I think that if I did, I might be a little bit more confident. Um, I think that because of the way that I played growing up, which was tend which tended to be um uh like quieter things, you know, like stuffed animals or something like that. Um, it's made me a little bit quieter and um not as social. Um and in the last reading, uh we learned about something called FOMO, which is fear of missing out. And um in today's age, what we're missing out on typically is virtual like social media. And that feeling of FOMO normally takes place at a younger age as well. Um, and because younger kids are more likely to be subject to the fear of missing out, um, and because that in today's age, social media is what you're typically missing out on, younger kids are getting addicted to social media and it's affecting their mental health and um, making them more insecure and self-conscious and things like that. Um, I didn't get social media until I was a little bit older, so I personally think that social media should wait um, until you are a little older, just so that you're not exposed um, to that feeling of you know not knowing what's going on on Instagram or Snapchat or things like that, um, because that's not crucial to your development. You know, in-person social interactions are, and we are social animals. You know, we need socialization, but uh, especially because of coronavirus, um, all of this. 
all these social settings are online. And so it's making it easier for um, even adults, but mostly younger children uh, to get addicted to their smartphones and things like that. Um, yeah, all in all, I think that these essays are, are very important to read and give you a better look on um, what is good and bad for kids, uh, especially in this day and age, um, everything is online. And so it's really easy to just sit here and play video games all day or sit here and be on social media all day. And while too much of anything is bad, um, I think it's important to know that in small doses, it can be beneficial uh, to all of us. Thank you.